Hey everyone, another solo review, another family tree solo review. So family tree, Hardy Woods, um, sort of, uh, society thing where you're kind of, you get special beers, exclusive beers that, that you can't get otherwise. Um, then you get early access to other, to, to, to uh, other beers to uh, like pre-order and whatnot. So this is intermingle, uh, it's 10, it's a 10.4%, uh, wait for it, uh, bourbon barrel age quad. So 15 months, it's 15 months age in bourbon barrels quad plus a 14 month bourbon barrel barley wine plus a four month Chardonnay barrel Belgian strong golden ale, 10.4%. percent uh, That's courtesy of my buddy, Larry. Thank you, dude, so much. This is right up my alley. Um, sounds like a lot of shit though. <laughs> it sounds kind of bonkers. So really interested to see uh, everything about this beer. I'm really curious to see what this looks like. Um, I guess, yeah, it pours the part. So this looks sort of, yeah, a murky brown. Um, it looks, yeah, more barley wine, quad-esque. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, maybe a little bit lighter because of the golden ale blend. Um, but yeah, that's got, yeah, it's got a nice little to light tone. If you hold it up to light, yeah, it's got this lighter tone um yeah murky brown is the best way to kind of kind of describe this the head dissipated very quickly probably dirty glass too so my, my bad uh alcohol legs yeah it's got it uh, but yeah it's got that yeah toffee-ish color it's got a nose cherries some a little bit of fig actually a lot of fig Coffee, some vanilla sweetness. So you're getting like this nice mix of barrel, and you're getting quad. You're getting that like that 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 grapiness that sometimes you can get from a quad, and that toffee, caramelly barley wine is coming through. Chardonnay barrels, golden ale, strong golden ale, I guess I should say. Not so much. Um, I don't know if this has anything else in this can about it. Nope. Just brewed by Hardywood. Hardywood down in Richmond, Virginia, for those that don't know. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that, yeah you know what? The grapiness, maybe it's... Maybe it's Chardonnay grapes. I don't know. Anyways, cheers. So I had this in the fridge and I took it out and let it sit for a good 30 minutes. It's, 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 it's a good temp. Um, this is, it's thin. Yeah, not thin. Mm, Medium-ish. Good amount of heat on the back. I can see the Chardonnay. I can see the Golden Ale. Um, I would, I, I wonder if this is three parts. This is all the, all, all equal, um, all equal blended, but again, I get the Chardonnay. Like if you drink like a Chardonnay or a Pinot Gris, like a white, white wine, you get that kind of inter, I don't, I can't even explain it as much. I, 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 I do like wine, but I'm more of a red, a red, red wine drinker. You get that kind of drying puckering finish. And then that like kind of crisp there the quads there the, the grape is definitely in up 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 in there um there's toffee there's the barley wine everything's sort of there there's an extremely big warming in my chest um i don't know how it's coming off I like this beer, but it's it's missing something. It's missing maybe some. I know I said the, the, there's booze, but it's missing heft. I, I feel like a beer like this should be a little bit maybe thicker. Um, I think maybe it needs more time in the can. This this it, it's it was 2020's version, right? So this was canned on seven twenty seven July. It's so July twenty twenty. It's it's January twenty twenty one right now. Um, it almost 
feels watered down, but that could be the golden ale. It could be the Chardonnay golden ale. Maybe that's what this is supposed to be. But for me, when I got this can, I've been kind of eyeing it for, for the last few months now, um, really kind of hyping it up in my head, like, okay, I need to really find time to do this. So I brought it up to the, I brought it upstairs last weekend. Um, and then I ended up drinking it and I started again today. I was like, okay, I'm taking it out. I'm doing it. Blah, blah, blah. But I think I'm a little, a little let down, a little let down. It's got, everything's there. It's just, it's lacking something. There's not the, the, the magic of something that you get, especially from a Hardywood barrel aged beer. Cause Hardywood barrel aged, Hardywood's barrel program for me is top notch. It is, uh, it's, it's excellent. There's not a, there hasn't been really anything that's been really, that, that's been bad, right? It's like Hardywood's barrel program, like GBS barrel aged stuff. Um, just their, their barley wines, their Imperial stouts, trickery, foolery, whatever, what, what have you, um, is, is, is top notch. And, and I think Mike, Mike would agree with me. We, we, we've definitely done our, our fair share of barrel aged Hardywood beers. This for me kind of falls a little short. I would be more interested to see how that barley wine would taste or how that uh, quad would taste. Um, but it is what it is. I'm still going to drink this beer. It's 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 it's, the, it's just I think in my I, I think I hyped it up a little bit too much in my head. So down in the comments, if you've had Intermingle Hardywood's uh, 15 month age bourbon barrel aged quad, 14 month age barrel aged barley wine. And four month age Chardonnay barrel Belgian strong golden ale coming at 10.4%. What do you think of it? What do you think of Hardywood's barrel program in general? Um, are you part of the family tree? What's your favorite fa family tree beer? And as always, nerdtennis.net, that's where you can find all of our social media stuff. And then from there, you can hit up um, YouTube, Instagram, Google, Plus, <laughs> Twitter. I don't know why I said Google, Plus, Facebook. And yeah. Just check us out. Hit the notification bells if you like these reviews, even though I've been rambling for the last seven and a half minutes. And uh, I'm Sean. This is Nerd Sense. Cheers.